Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. Last night I had a dilemma. <laughs> um, I woke up and this is an uncommon thing. I usually don't have to get up to use the restroom, but last night I did. I guess I drank too much water, but I walked into my bathroom and then a drop of water falls on my face. I'm like, oh, that woke me up. I was like, what is going on? So I had to tear the vent apart. I, just the inside. I pulled it apart just to see where the leak was coming from and luckily it wasn't coming from the seal or anything like that. It, um, it was coming from the vent. The vent had dry rotted and cracked. So, and it's only a year old, but see it's still a 2018 which I consider new, but it does have 14,000 miles on it so it is used. I do want to take you on the roof and show you uh, what I did. Okay, so remember this was at midnight and it was raining, obviously. That's why it was leaking. And as soon as I came up here and started messing with it, this whole thing, look at how, it, look, it's just, it's falling apart. It's that brittle, it just crumbles in my hand. So I found the tote and I stuck it on there and I was like, okay, <laughs> at least the water won't come in. But yeah, this is ridiculous. So, I mean, that just goes to show you that you know, this is only a year old or probably a little over a year old. And I mean, things can get brittle and break apart. This is ridiculous. Now, when I purchased this, it was considered used because it's a 2018. They did reseal all of the roof and the vents and stuff like that. But I guess they just overlooked this. Yep, it's just falling apart. It's so brittle. Oh, well. So, I'm going to run to the RV shop and I'm going to buy a new vent cover and get this fixed. To get the cover off, I had to take this off, the swing arm. So now we're going to take that off right there. Okay. Does it slide off? Um, I need a screwdriver to open this little uh, channel here. Uh, what kind of screw Just Phillips? A flathead screwdriver. Oh, flathead, hold on. Okay, got the old frame out. Now time to go to the store. Mumu, you ready to go? Huh? Look, at she's got a nice new jacket I picked up. Um, where did I get that Bed Bath & Beyond? It's really cute. It's her new Jackie. Plaid Jackie. I actually got her too. Here's another one. This one is gray with snowflakes on it. It's so cute. Little ball hat. <laughs> she looks really good in that one too. This thing is really falling apart. They say this is one of their most popular brands, but they don't have it in stock. So they have to order it and it won't be until Monday or Tuesday. I was really wanting to get on the road soon. I'm so tired of this weather. I was just going to start moving slowly. I was going to leave today, but ugh, I wonder if there's anywhere else I can find this. What do you think, Mumu, huh? Think we can find it somewhere else? We came down to Port Orchard because there is Kitsap RV. I'm gonna see if the part is here because I don't feel like waiting till Monday or Tuesday. So they fortunately had the RV vent lid in and this one looks um, a much heavier plastic and it's less than 20 bucks. So I'm grabbing that. It's time to get the new one on. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. It's a mess, mess, mess. New vent lid. Let's see. Oh. oh, this one actually looks and feels way sturdier than that other 
plastic one. I mean, it was really thin. So, yay! Let's get that on. My foot itches. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's get this on there. This is a direct replacement, so it should just slide on, and, and then I have to bolt everything down, just like the old one. All right. Okay, first things first. I've just got to tighten that track there, and then slide it on here. All right, I've got it on. Now I just got to go and put the internals on. I have the lifting arm back on. I've got one screw there. I need to put the other screw there. And then I will put the screen back in, and then the crank knob. And it should be good to go. All right, works awesomely. Last thing to do is the molding shroud. Well, guess what? It is all complete. <laughs> no more leaky leaky. Awesome, nice new vent cover. No brittle crap. Okay, and it shuts nice and tightly. People have been telling me to get a newer rig, and don't get me wrong, I love my newer rig. It's amazing. But I've always said in the past, newer rig doesn't always equal no problems. Sometimes it equals new problems, and that's just how it is. So, I mean, you know, I did have my issues with Panda, and I'm so much um, happier in this rig. Uh, but I knew that I would run across issues just like this and not have to deal with them. But like I said, yeah, just because you have a new rig doesn't uh, guarantee anything at all or a newer rig because it is 2018. But yeah, there are no guarantees. So I got it done though and it is working fine and I'm happy with it. So I had to go to, a, a, you know, a couple places to find the right lid, but found it and got it installed and I'm happy with it so I do have to cover Panda talking about covering Panda up do you notice something's missing <laughs> yep the solar panels are off Scotty helped me with those yesterday I've got everything done with Panda so the next thing to do is just cover her and so she can be stored for the winter I do have them stored up in the loft for now until I can get them installed I'm not using the loft, so I figured this would be a perfect spot for them. Okay, I gotta get rid of the evidence. <laughs> this old broken vent cover in the box. Hey, goodbye, good riddance. Get in there. <laughs> okay, the last thing to do is cover Panda. I guess I'll grab that box and unpack that. And then I'm ready to hit the road whenever, I guess. I can leave tonight or tomorrow. Well, last time I'll be going in Panda. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything is all cleaned out. Yep. Oh, bye Panda. It's so dark in here. Time to open this up. I bought this from Walmart.com because the RV Center and other places wanted about 300 plus dollars for their RV covers, and this was only 109 dollars, and that was shipped from Walmart.com. Might have been actually there was tax and stuff, so but yeah, about 110 bucks. Waterproof and ready to take a look at this thing. I have a shrink wrapped. Okay. Wonder how hard this thing is going to be to get on. I guess we'll see. I'll just wait to get it out until I'm ready to put it on. I got my old 
old RV covered. I'm glad that it's out of the weather now. I'm going to um, get some food. We came to Spiro's where they have pasta, pizza, and stuff like that. Awesome. Wow, that's a Ooh, there's the cheesy bread. That's so good. You need anything else, honey? No? I'm good. All right. Here's enjoy. Thank you. That was so good. You got the side salad that they can split. And I've got my side salad. So it's just um, house dressing, Caesar, roaming lettuce, I mean, and olives and mozzarella. Okay. Oh, you got lasagna too? Oh my god, that looks amazing. And what'd you get, pizza? What kind of pizza did you get? Okay. Oh, you got a pizza? We're going to have a lot of leftover. I know, right? Pack it up, pack it up. We're having to go. Oh my god, there was too much food. <laughs> I even got my cheesy bread to go. So I don't know if this is actually showing on camera, but it looks like snow is all over the ground. But I think it's just um, dew or whatever. Look, it's on the trees too. It's just frozen. It does actually kind of look like snow. Well, I mean, it is frozen water, I guess. It's on the trees, too. <laughs> oh my god, it's so time to leave. Isn't it, Moo Moo? Isn't it? Time to go. It's getting too cold. Well, you can definitely tell it's getting colder out. It is time to head south. Tyrion Scott still have nine days before they um, take their truck in for the last final thing, then they're gonna be getting on the road. But I believe we'll be leaving tomorrow. I just, um, yeah, I'm just ready to get south. I was trying to wait as long as possible, but yeah, it's just, it's almost 10 more days, well, nine days, and then before they can even leave. So, yep, all right, well, we will see you next time where hopefully we'll be on the road. Until then, stay safe and honored bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. Good night.